Hey, Matt the Momo Hunter. Uh, haven't done a whole lot of videos here recently. Kind of been out of town for work, but I'm back in town. We got winter coming on and I'm trying to get everything ready for winter. I got the BMS Rhino here, Rhino clone. It's a BMS, I think a ranch pony or a stallion. Never been able to figure out which model it is, but it's been a great machine and um, building doors on it, basically kind of building a, a cab to go around it. But one thing, if you've got one of these Rhino clones is uh, you'll notice when you're driving, especially once you put the windshield on and a top, that right back in this area here, you get exhaust comes up, you get dust that comes up. And uh, also with this one, uh, we had uh, like gas coming out of the carburetor, one of the hoses had come loose and we were getting a fuel smell coming up. We got that fixed, but still the, the exhaust comes right up there. So they sell these dust covers. And they make them for Rhino clones. But if you have a BMS, and there's a couple other models out there as well, that they don't, uh, they don't fit. Basically, they're just about six inches wider than the Rhino and the Rhino clones are. So they're not going to fit. And I got this. They're about $200 off of Amazon. Was going was gonna to send it back uh, from what I've been looking at. You can buy a welding blanket and make them work, and those are a whole lot cheaper. But I kind of got looking in, and I figured out how to do it, how to make it work. And I just thought I'd share this because I've already run across four people just in the last 24 hours that have had the same issue. So we're going to show you how, how I did it. So when you get these and you go to put them on, the main issue you're going to have is... Uh, Right here, you got to stretch them to the roll bar. That's one of the first steps. I think it's, I think it's actually the second step to it. And uh, it's about three inches on each side too short to make it work. So it's Velcro. I was going to send it back. I also had a rear windshield from Classic Accessories, just like a cheap vinyl one that would not stretch as well because this is a little bit wider. I sent the, the windshield back. I'm just going to make my own. But uh, this, instead of using the welding blanket and trying to make a welding blanket work, I was I was going to try. I mean, it's, it's really well made. And uh, what I did is I went Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's. They sell this uh, Velcro, these Velcro strips. So what I did is I bought several of them. They're adhesive on the back. So the first thing I did is, because you've got the different sides of Velcro on both sides, is I got one, I stuck them back to back. So I have one side going over here, the other side, which needs the other part of the Velcro, is actually hooked in here and kind of just basically made an extender for them. Now that didn't give a whole lot of, of uh, room for it to hook up, so I took some other pieces and just have it overlapping just to give it a little more strength. Once I did, it worked perfectly. Now, when you go to put the back cape on here, it hooks up on both sides. Well, it doesn't hook up on both sides because it's still a little narrow, but you know what? It works. It doesn't have to hook up on this side. It's hooked on that side. This Velcro is really strong and hooks on the back. So far, I mean, I've only had it on for a day or two. It's quieted everything down and I don't smell any exhaust. I don't have the dust and everything coming up. So hopefully, hopefully it's gonna continue at the end of the winter. I'll probably do another review and kind of, you know, show how it held up, but happy with it so far. And just thought I'd put it in if you run into the same problem. Cause the first thing I did when it didn't reach I got on YouTube, looked it up, and there was not one video. So hopefully this helps. Again, it's Matt the Momo Hunter. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Give us a like, leave a comment. All of it is very much appreciated.